Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This video is all about how to work on Trello. So if you're new to this platform, if you have very little clue about it, so I'll tell you it is a platform where you can manage your work. If you are a freelancer, a project manager, or maybe in charge you're handling a business, or maybe you're running your business, running a team, or in general you're managing different kind of tasks and work, or project then this platform is for you in this platform you can manage all of your work and you can increase your productivity and everything will be run effectively so to access this platform first you have to go to the browser and there you have to search for Trello or you can find its link in the description below you can go with the link in the description or maybe from the link that you have found from the result once you go with that you will get onto its website and this will be the first interface that you will see this one is your workspace and there you will see all of your boards that you have created if you want to use any one of these you can go for it or you can just simply create from scratch first you have to give it a name it could be anything whatever it is related to just simply type it here and after that you can choose different kind of backgrounds there are different images and different kind of gradients available you can choose whatever option you like and click on to this create option and after that your new board will be created once you get there it's time to add different kind of lists to it and every list has different kind of options which are called cards so to create a list first you have to give it a name it could be anything let's say if you have any kind of major work then just simply type it here if you have multiple clients then you can create multiple lists separate for every client or you can just simply type it anything here i have just simply wrote about task and after that i am just gonna choose this option which is to do doing and done so in the task i will add the cards so the cards are actually the sub tasks in the task let's say you add monday and in the cards you can add all the things that you want to do in monday as i have named it task therefore in the cards i'm just gonna name something related to it the first i have added is that checking the mails this one is a major task and it should be done and it is related to all the business and professional work therefore i have added likewise whatever option you want to go with you can add up here if you want to create a new task just simply type its title and after that press the enter key or you can click on this option add card once you go with that option your new card will be created so the card is actually as same as a task or you can say a sub task here on this platform we call it card not the task so once you're done you can just simply leave it or if you want to add more cards it's all up to you you can add there's no limitation to it you can add multiple list and multiple cards so in to do list whatever option you want to add you can add it otherwise you can also move any of your tasks to in the to do list so what i have done here is that i have just simply created multiple cards in every card i have some tasks so when i think that i want to work on it i will add into to do when i will work on it i will add in doing and once it gets completed i will add them into done likewise i will just move these cards from one list to other list based on their status other than that if you have multiple cards and if you want to categorize them based on their types you can just simply create labels for that you have to click on these three lines and then you have to go for labels so in label you can create anything let's say if you have some cards related to the marketing department you can tell it marketing if it's related to operation you can go for operations likewise finance hr and different categories that you would like to go with and you can also choose what color you would like to give them it's all up to you once you're done you just have to simply get back to your cards click on pencil key and this option and later on you can choose any of these labels according to the nature of this task or this card if you click on to any one of these you can also add the labels from it and you can also customize it like you can add its description you can add a command and if you want to add different members you can also do that you can create labels you can create checklists you can also manage its dates 
you can also attach different files to it and there are the options also available you can explore them and can use them later on if you want to see other views like this table one you can see and if you want to add more you can just simply add it like the timeline one this one shows on which date what work you have and which day is free for you other than this option we have few options also that you can use up here like you can just simply filter out you can use the automation and you can also use the power ups you can also share this file to your team member and in the more section we have a lot of other options that you can explore and can use as well i hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates and i really appreciate you watching this video till the very end and thank you so much for it